have some work for tonight. And here are our last night's homework answers. So if you're checking this from home, just pause it right now. Check your homework. All right. Today's lesson is measures essential tendency. Mean, median, mode, and range. Mean. What's another word for mean? Average. average. Mean and average are the same thing. Find the sum and divide by number of items. To find the average or the mean, you add up all numbers in question and you divide by how many there are. Median. How do you, what, what is the median, Lexi? It is a middle number. Middle number. One, list in order. Find middle. If there are two middle numbers, if there are two middle numbers, the average of the two. Find the average of the two. Median is the middle number. List the numbers in order by the middle. If there are two middle numbers, find the average of those two. What is the mode? What is the mode? That's the one that hears the most. Mode is the most. You may have more than one. I'm going to look at an example in a minute. More than one mode. And how do you find the range? I minus four. Mean, median, mode, and range. These are all what we call measures of central tendency. Now, find the mean, median, mode, and range for this set of data. I am going to list it in order first. So, the smallest number is negative 12. I'm going to have negative 7, negative 5, negative 4. I've got negative 2 twice. Notice I list it twice. And then I've got negative 1 twice. And then I've got 0, and then I've got 2. Now, on your homework tonight, or on a quiz or test, when I ask you to do this, I want your work labeled mean, median, mode, and range. Don't just put four numbers down there and let me try to figure out what is what. To find the mean, I need to take all my numbers and add them together. I'm not going to press buttons on a calculator right now. I'm just going to tell you that if you add all of those together, you're going to end up with negative 31. Okay? If you add those all together, you will get negative 31. And if I count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm dividing by 10, which is negative 3.1. Look what work I showed. That shows me that you understand what you're doing. And it's labeled median. Median, I've listed them in order. Now, <laughs> I don't think it's a super great idea to cross them out when you're doing high and low, but I'm going to put little check marks. Low, high, low, high, because remember I'm finding the middle number. Low, high, low, high. I've got two middle numbers. They don't happen to be negative two, so we know the median is going to be negative two. But if there are two middle numbers, you add that. Negative two plus negative two divided by two gives me negative two. It's right in the middle of these two, which is still negative. In this case. Mode. What number appears 
appears the most on that list? What number appears the most on that list? Let's see. Negative two and negative one. Now, if all of the numbers only appear once, we say there is no mode. But any number that appears more than one, that is a potential mode. It's the one that appears the most. Range, high minus low. Highest is three, minus lowest is negative 12. Add the opposite, our mode is our range of six. High minus low. All right, now, this is more of the algebra space. Exam. Okay. It says, suppose your grades on three history exams are 80, 93, and 91. What grades do you need on your next exam to have a 90 average for your four exams? So, I'm going to move it. Don't forget, the mean is the sum of all the tests divided by the amount of the test. So, do we know what our fourth score is? No, so what what card I'm gonna write? Let X equal the fourth score. Guys, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I am gonna expect you to be able to set this up on um on an exam. So our four exams are 80 plus 93 plus 91. Our fourth one is X. We don't know what that is. But our average, wouldn't I add those all up and divide by four? And I need that to equal 90. Does that make sense? Here's our four scores. We don't know the four. But once we know that, we divide that by four and we want it to equal 90. All right. So let's solve this. 80 plus 93 plus 91 is 264. I should write this card. 264 plus x divided by 4 equals 90. Now, back to sixth grade. At the end of the year, you guys solve the equation. What does this mean, dividing by 4? I mean, what's the opposite of dividing by 4? Everybody. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 4. So, this is 4 over 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1, gone. So on this side, I'm left with 264 plus x equals 360. Because 90 times 4 is 360. And then how do I solve for x? This is a positive 264. How do I get that over the other side? What's the opposite of plus 264? Minus 264. And I end up with x is... 96. So I need to get a 96 on that fourth test to have an average of 90. How can I check my work? How can I check my work? Yeah, let's find the average. If, if my four tests are 80 plus 93 plus 91 plus 96, see what you get when you divide that by four. If you add those up, you will get um, 360 divided by 4. That gives you 90. So, yes, that will give you a 90.5. Does that make sense? 